Okay, so another multi, uh, free response question with the calculator that we'll look at here, and this one happens to be known as the banana problem because working with 50 pounds of bananas. All right, so we have a function, and we know we're moving bananas using f of t, all right? And we know that we add bananas with g of t, but not until hour three, it looks like here, if we read the question. g is measured in pounds per hour, and f is also measured in pounds per hour, and t is measured in hours. So how many pounds of bananas are removed during the first two hours? So removed is what we're looking for, so we're going the integral from zero to two of f of t dt. I want to make sure that I write it. I use my calculator and that happens to be 20.051. And I need to make sure that I can use my calculator. All right, no need to try to solve this by hand. In fact, uh, this particular one, you may not have the approaches available to you to solve this analytically by hand. Okay, now what are going to be our units here, right? How many pounds of bananas? Well, they're telling us it's pounds, so we're just going to rewrite it. It's pounds, okay? Find F prime of 7 and give the meaning in context. So F prime of 7, we're just going to use our calculator uh, to find our derivative. We're going to find the derivative at 7, and if we do that, eight, uh, we would get negative 8.119 to three decimal places, right? So that we said we would say at t equals seven hours, there are 8.119 pounds of bananas removed Per hour, right? That we've been open for seven hours, and the rate at which uh, the bananas are removed is decreasing at 8.119 pounds of bananas, right? So we say 8.19 um, pounds of bananas removed per hour. So we want to make sure that we have that right. But then we realize that, wait a second, it's f prime of 7, and the bananas are removed per hour, but then this is over another hour. So really, the rate of decrease of the bananas being removed is 8.119 pounds of bananas per hour squared. All right, so we want to be careful with that, and we want to be careful with those units. All right. And it says using correct units, so we need to make sure we have those units correct. Is the number of bananas on the display table increasing or decreasing at t equals 5? Well, f prime of 5 we could find with the calculator, right? g prime of 5 we could find with the calculator. And if we consider g prime of 5 minus f prime of 5, what we find is that that's going to be negative 2.263 approximately. So therefore, more bananas are being removed than are added. So therefore, we would be decreasing. The number of pounds is going to be decreasing. And how many pounds of bananas are on the display table at t is equal to 8? Well, we start with 50 pounds plus from 3 to 8 of g of t is how many bananas that we added to it minus the integral from 0 to 8 of f of t is how many bananas were taken away and if we put that into our calculator, we would get 23.347. And notice they already give us the units, so it's generally okay if you don't include the units when they're given to you. And that's what we have. So how would we score these? If I had the integral from 
3 to 8 of g of t, you'd get a point. The integral from 0 to 8 of f t, you'd get a point. And why from 3? Because we don't start adding bananas till 3, but we take them away from the start. And then the final answer, you get a point. So there's three points there. Okay. Then for part C, we need to have g prime of 5 minus f prime of 5, and we need to specifically write that it's negative. We don't necessarily have to give the specific value, but we have to specifically show that it's negative with our writing. And then more bananas being removed, so we are decreasing. There's two points there. All right. Using correct units to explain the meaning of f prime. So we need to figure out what the value is, the negative 8.119. And we have to have our units of the hours, right? And we have pounds of banana removed per hour per hour. So per hour squared. And we need to be careful with what we have, but two marks there. And then lastly, integral and correct value for how much removed. It tells us pounds, so we make sure that we're in pounds and that would be our solution, all right? So relatively straightforward for this question. It's the type of question that you would wanna make sure that you're earning a majority of those marks. Be careful with your reading. Don't write too much, right? You know, it's already telling you it's G of T, so use G of T. It's already telling you it's F of T, so use F of T. Okay, so get the practice in. If you have questions, please ask. Thank you very much for your time.